Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday. <laughs> I forgot what today was. Friday, uh, June the 25th. So it's like six months till Christmas, right? July, August, September, October, November, December. So, hey, countdown. <laughs> that means it's only three months until about the time my Christmas starts. <laughs> Because, let's see here, we decorate for Halloween in September and then through October. So, yeah, it's four months till Christmas starts here. Because <laughs> we, we do Halloween in September and October and then November and December is when we do Christmas. Anyways, <laughs> welcome back, guys. Um, I haven't made a video in a few days because I've been feeling really under the weather. <laughs> uh, like, the last two days I've been pretty much laying around doing nothing. <laughs> but I'm feeling a bit better today, so I'm going to try to get some stuff some videos made in the next few days if I feel good. I also got some sewing that I need to start. <laughs> it's been sitting in there on my table. I don't know if you get to see it. Kind of, some of it. <laughs> um, for like four or five days. And I just haven't even touched it. It's just been sitting there. <laughs> but uh, I'll get to it when I get to it. That'll be um, little, well not little, but like, you know, that's <laughs> they're like a foot by a foot-ish. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, zipper project bags with the handles on the sides. And may or may, may not have matching notion pouches, depending on if I feel like making the notion pouches. But uh, I'm going to work on that eventually, and they'll be in the shop eventually, <laughs> sometime in July. But anyways, um, I, I guess this is an episode, I think 145. I don't really have a lot to share with you because I've been sick. I haven't been um, feeling like crocheting, but I did get some stuff done. <laughs> so I want to share with you guys what I did get done. And hopefully, um, since I'm feeling better today, I'm hoping that I will feel better you know, in the next few days and can get more crocheting done because I really want to make some emigrimis and I want to, there's this, um, like a cardigan type thing that I want to start with one of these two yarns. I'll have to purchase more because I need, um, like one and a half more of the balls to make my size, but I'm okay with that. And that's just what yarn I can grab at Walmart. So I'm happy with that. But yeah, so I'm wanting to get stuff done, but I can't because I've been feeling bad, <laughs> but I'm feeling better today. So I do have Technically five finished objects, but they're all the same thing. <laughs> but, um, and then I have some whips. But I'm going to show you my finished objects. They are the Star Doilies by Sarah Satch. She has a written pattern on her blog. I'll, I'll link that below. And she also has a video tutorial on her YouTube channel. And I'll also link that below. <laughs> I love, um, the way she does her patterns because she always does it written and video. That way, um, if you can't read a pattern, you can do the video or vice versa. And also, sometimes, you know, a part might be tricky, so you need to watch someone else do it, and that helps a lot. But anyways, <laughs> so I was making these to make a table runner, but once I finished the stars, I couldn't figure out a layout to make them look the way I wanted it to. Uh, the stars would have had to all been facing different directions, and I didn't like that. I wanted them all, like, in the same direction. So I just decided to make, like, placemats, or just doilies <laughs> with them, but we can use them as placemats on our table. And, um... You know, there's just the three of us. <laughs> so it could be three placemats and then two in the middle for like plates of food and stuff. But anyways, here they are. Here's the first one. <laughs> but it is, um, this yarn is called, I love this yarn, Ombre Old Glory. It's colorway. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, I believe it was, it's $4.99 a ball. But yeah, I had, the day I got it, it was 30% off. And then the white is just a scrap ball I had of Red Heart Super Saver White in my scrap bucket. So here's one. <laughs> so they all basically look the same thing, the way, but there are four more right here. So I'm just going to use them as like placemats. Um, and I'll probably use them all the time, not just around summer. Because here in the U.S. we can use red, white, and blue stuff, first of all, all the time because uh, pa patriotism. <laughs> but uh, the major patriotic holidays are through the summer here. Because uh, Memorial Day is in May. Flag Day is in June. Uh... Veterans Day. When is Veterans Day? Is it in September? I can't remember. <laughs> but anyways, all in 4th of July, of course, <laughs> in July. So pretty much all summer long, we can keep out our patriotic color things. Um, but plus, I also just like patriotic stuff anyways. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> this is them. I did the full size. It's uh, nine rows of this colorful part, and then there are two rows of the white border. And I really like the border because it's like a pico. Um, point it's just cute I like it a lot I think that'd be really cute in there on the table um for dinners and stuff yeah so that's my finished objects five of those <laughs> I really like them all they're super easy patterns I just I got them mostly done and then I started feeling really bad so um I'm trying to remember what day I finished these on 
I think it was last week sometime, all I had to do is I had one star I had to finish like three rows on of the colorful part and then I had to do the white um, border on all of them and I sat down and I finally did that in one day. I was watching um, I think Downton Abbey that day because I, I caught up on Grey's Anatomy finally so now I'm waiting for the next season to come out so I decided to start rewatching Grey's or not Grey's Downton Abbey because the new movie's coming out in September and I'm so excited. I already talked to Evan we're going. <laughs> Um, he likes Grey's Anatomy. When I was pregnant, or, why do I keep saying Grey's? Downton. When I was pregnant with Jesse in 2015 slash 16, we binge watched that whole show because <laughs> I had watched like the first couple seasons before that and then I ended up buying a set with all of them in it at the time. I think the sixth one wasn't out yet. And um, me and him, we just sat in bed because I was on like bed rest with Jesse and I had preeclampsia really bad. But um, we binge watched the whole show and Devin ended up really liking it. So, and I've rewatched it multiple times since because I absolutely love anything made in that time period and pretty much anything about like the anything British people make, I love. <laughs> Their shows are always so good. Anyways, whips. <laughs> I have three active whips. I still have that Halloween whip up there that I have not touched. As a matter of fact, I'm going to grab that and throw it on the couch because I need to work on that. <laughs> I've already let it sit long enough and it's a big project so I need to get some progress done on it. But, um... Two of my whips are squares for my hashtag moving stitch collab thing. <laughs> so this is J and K squares. So this is my J one. I just got the squares done. I haven't made the appliques yet for it. But this is a scrap ball of Red Heart yarn. I think it's Delta Blue or something like that. So I just got that. And then I made the red one. <laughs> this is for my K movie. So there's like a preview of my J and K movie. <laughs> and I already know what my L movie is going to be. And I've already watched it. Me and Jesse watched it the other day. So, I'm getting there. <laughs> but, uh, again, you know, I've been under, under the weather a lot lately. So, um, I haven't done that. I'm pretty sure the L movie needs to be out next Wednesday, which is coming up because it's Friday. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to get all three of them done <laughs> before next Wednesday. So, that, that movie and stitch episode will probably be longer than normal. <laughs> but, um, I already know what I want to do applique-wise on this one. Kind of on this one, but I don't know if it's going to look right. But, um. This is a family friendly movie. This is more of a grown up movie, but it's because I was sick the day <laughs> that I wanted to watch another movie and I was like, well, I should watch a K movie. So I, instead of going on Disney Plus and finding the movie, I just went to our DVDs and I found a movie that I love and uh, I just laid around on the couch and watched it. But it starts with a K, so um, I'm counting it. <laughs> but that's my two whips so far. This is the same square pattern that I've been using for my moving stitch. It's called um, Simple Says It Best Square. I can't remember off the top of my head who it's by, but I'll link it below. It's a free Ravelry download. I love it. It's a really simple square pattern. I like it a lot. The last whip is my couch remote cozy thing. <laughs> I severely underestimated the size that I would need because our couch has big old fat arms. <laughs> so, uh, like, they're really wide. Way wider than, like, average couches. <laughs> it's, like, really wide and kind of round. So, um, I did use the whole ball of the, I think it's a uh, sweet row from, um, Premier, Premier Sweet Row, and it was purple one, purple and pink one. So there's that, and then I added this pink color down here. Doesn't match completely, but it matches enough that I don't care. And it is a really mangled up ball because it's got this much hanging off the side of it. This is uh, Red Heart with Love Hot Pink. So I used up my whole uh, Sweet Row cake, and then I just added that, and I still got to do about 15 more rows for it to lay the way I want it to lay on the arm, and then I'm gonna go back and make pockets to put on this part to put like a remote in. I'm gonna make like one big pocket and then I'm gonna sew down the middle to make two pockets for um, the remote and stuff like that to set in because we always lose the remote. Our big old giant TV, we have a 75 inch TV that me and Devin saved forever to get because we've been wanting a big TV forever <laughs> and we finally were able to get one, I think in March or April, we finally saved enough to eat it and we were so excited to bring that thing home. It was huge and very heavy. But anyways, and it's a huge TV, but it's remote's like that big. <laughs> it's a Roku TV, and it's got the littlest, tiniest remote, and it's always getting lost. So we need a pocket to put it in. But this is, I'm not using a pattern for this. I'm just, I just started, I think I, how many chains did I make? I could count it, but I don't want to. It's like, I think 60, around 60 chains with a uh, eye hook. And this is worst weight yarn. And I'm just half or double, half double crocheting. I'm half double crocheting all the way across, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just until it's the length that I want it. I laid over my couch arm, and I want 
this part to go down towards the cushion so that it, you know it's got enough room but it doesn't get pulled off so easily and then the same thing on the other side just off the edge and I'm gonna put the pockets on the side that's off the edge so that you know when you sat on the couch you don't hit the remotes that's my plan so I need about 15 more rows to reach that <laughs> I was working on it this morning but I had to get out and check the mail and stuff so and then I really got to fix this bowl because I'm using the center pull but it's falling apart from the outside and that's what this is so once I get done making the rest of the length and then the pockets I'm gonna roll this into a big old scrap ball because <laughs> it was gifted to me I think in a box of yarn but I love it because I love with love yarn <laughs> and uh, it's a really pretty color and I love how soft red love is because it's like so much softer than just regular red heart but I still love regular red heart too because that's what I started crocheting on Terry just messaged me <laughs> Terry from your enjoy podcast I'll message you back in a minute <laughs> all right so that's all my crocheting um, I do have more stuff that I want to make, like I said, I, wanna, I really want to start that little, it was in a magazine that I got gifted recently, and it's really cute, uh, it's like a cardigan type thing, I don't know if it is actually a cardigan, <laughs> and I want to make some amigurumis, I keep seeing patterns that I want to make, and I haven't made an amigurumi in forever, I don't remember what the last amigurumi was I made, I don't know, it's been too long, <laughs> I did get some mail today, so I wanted to share you, these are my hooks for my projects, let me see them over here, I use an H hook, for the squares and an eye hook for my couch caddy thing. So I did get the new Joanne's pamphlet, <laughs> but I'm not really interested in going to Joanne's. There's nothing there. No good enough sales for me to drive 50 minutes. <laughs> so I got another uh, postcard from Erica. She lives in New Jersey. It's cute. Kitties with balls and yarn. Thank you. And it's got a cute um, stamp. It looks like it's a barn or something. Really cute. I love stamps. I used to collect them when I was a kid, so I always love them. And then I got a package from Tracy. Oh, she loves California. I can't remember. She has such a nice penmanship. <laughs> this looks so pretty. So this is the card that was in it. Really pretty with flowers. And then she sent me this puzzle, which I thought was really cool because I bought, I actually have two of these puzzles, but they're in my giveaway box, so I'm, I haven't opened them, of course. But, um, cause when I, when I bought them at my Hobby Lobby, there was only two left and I thought that'd be good giveaways. Um, so I put them up, uh, to give away. So I haven't touched them, but then she sent me this one cause she said she, she knows that our family loves puzzles, which we do. Me, Devin, and Jesse, all three love puzzles. Me and Devin will do big puzzles like this together and Jesse will usually sit near us <laughs> and do his kid, um, you know, like hundred piece ones with his, um, Paw Patrol and Bluey themed <laughs> puzzles. While we're doing these, I, ha I love my Christmas puzzles. Actually, I really want to do my um, Christmas cookie one. I was thinking about that the other day. That I want to start that one again because it's just so cute. But now I got this one that I can that I can make finally. How many sizes? Is it? 500 piece, and it is 23 inches by 18 inches. So it's about the size of a fat quarter. Because <laughs> I think they're 18 by 22 or 24. But um. I'm looking forward to that. And she got it on a big deal. Only $1.19. <laughs> I think mine were a little bit more than that. I think they were like $1.70 something. But now I got it. And it, and it says, um, turning strings into things. And it's got yarn and knitting needles and a yarn bowl. Really cute. Took me a minute to read that. I saw it reading cursive. <laughs> and then also in there, in her package, she sent me two crochet books that she got at her local thrift store. I'm a big thrifter. I love thrift store shopping and uh, yard selling. I passed some yard sales this morning and I wanted to stop so bad, but I didn't have no cash on me. And Devin had to bank card in his wallet because we, we have two bank cards, but his is messed up, but it's expiring soon, so we're not worrying about it. So he has my bank card with him, and I only had our like emergency card in my wallet, and it's for emergency. So I didn't want to stop and get cash off because yard selling is not an emergency. But anyways, I, I digress. <laughs> so she sent me this one. I almost feel like I have this one. Or I've just seen it before. I don't know. But it's McCall's Designs, Design Ideas, Christmas Knit and Crochet. So, so it's really cute. I feel like I've had this one. I'm looking at my books as if I could see them from here. I don't even have my glasses on. But I'm excited about it. Definitely going to flip through it because I love Christmas. <laughs> and I'm sure there's some patterns in here that I would love to make. Really cute. It looks pretty old too. No, no, it's volume 25. It doesn't have a date on it. Okay. Anyways, now this one I do know I already have. But because this one was gifted to me, I will keep this copy. I'll write in the cover who gifted it to me. 
And the other copy I have, I'm going to put in my giveaway stash. Because <laughs> I actually won it in a giveaway. So it wasn't actually gifted to me. So it's not like sentimental. But this one was gifted to me. So I'll keep this copy and put the other one in the giveaway. <laughs> but this is 101 Easy Scrap Crochet Projects. And I love this book. Here it is. There's a really cute pattern of a bag lady in here that I made. I don't know if y'all remember that. I actually gave it to my mom. She's got it in her house. Where are you? I know you're in here. Give me a second. <laughs> I seen it a minute ago and then I accidentally flipped past it. Oh, there she is. It's called Bag Lady by Sue Collins. Oh, 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 I can't see. <laughs> say it. But I made mine with like a purple and blue dress. And she got her little bag and everything. It's to put like grocery bags in. And or you could stuff it, I guess, and make it a amigurumi. But I made that out of this book. And then there's also the cute butterfly um, refrigerator for refrigerator magnets in here. <laughs> and I was just thinking the other day that I wanted to make some of those because I was gifted some of those and they're still on my refrigerator. Okay. So cute. And I want to make some to give to people in my life. And um, like my sister, I think she would like those. But, and there's a bunch of other cute, really cute patterns in here. Amigurumis, clothes, items, uh, kitchen things, blankets, all kinds of stuff. So this one I'm going to keep. I'm going to write in there that it was given to me by Tracy. I'll put her last name on there too. But I'm not going to tell y'all because she might not want people to know that. And where she's from. Because I do that with like everything I'm gifted. <laughs> and then the one I have, I will put in my giveaway box for a future giveaway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so thank you so much Tracy for the books and the puzzle. I'm really excited to have that puzzle since it's mine and I can open it and use it. And, I don't know, it looks like it might be kind of hard because a lot of the background is the same color. So, it might be a little tricky. But, um, I'm one of those people who, I do the border first, of course. I think everybody does that. But then I also separate all my pieces by color into piles. And then I focus on one color at a time. So, it might be a little hard when there's so much of that background color. But, I'll probably do all the yarn balls and stuff first to, um, make it easier. That's how we do our puzzles. <laughs> And yeah, so thank you so much, uh, Erica, for the card, and Tracy for the gifts, and Joanne's for the pamphlet, <laughs> even though I won't use it this time. I flipped through it, and there's some pretty good sales coming up for 4th of July on fabric and batting and things like that, but it's not good enough for me to go get it. <laughs> I use, I've gotten used to ordering my batting and interfacing all that through the mail in like large quantities, and it's a lot cheaper that way. And then my fabric, I've just been getting a Hobby Lobby lately <laughs> because um, their fabric is just as good as Joann's quality-wise, but it's multiple dollars cheaper, which makes a big deal when you have to buy a lot of it for um, making a lot of things, you know. But anyways, the only thing I don't like about Hobby Lobby is mine doesn't sell character prints. It's like Disney characters and who else? <laughs> you know, other like cartoon characters for kids and stuff. They don't really have many of that. They have a few, but then once it's gone, it's gone. But yeah, so that's everything I have to share with you guys for today. I feel like I'm a little scatterbrained because I, I haven't done a video in so long. I missed watch work on Wednesday, which I hated. I wanted to record that day, but I was just so sick feeling. Um, we and we also we went to the park that day for Jesse to play around and stuff. What else did we do Wednesday? Oh, we we went and got milkshakes, but I didn't even drink mine. <laughs> that we have a really cute milkshake um, trolley. It's like an old trolley car that uh, is in a local park here that I grew up around called Rock Island and it's called the Rock Island Trolley <laughs> but uh it is really good they make like really nice fancy shakes like I got a strawberry shortcake one and it was like that big and it had strawberry drizzle and you know strawberry milkshake inside of it and it had like around the cup was like strawberry frosting with like pie crust um crumbles stuck to it and then a huge thing of homemade whipped cream so it's really good I don't like like fake whipped cream but the homemade kind of so good and it had strawberry drizzle on top of that and then it had like a stick sticking out of it with a little pound cake stuck on it and a strawberry <laughs> stuck on it and then a big giant milkshake straw and I only drank like like if it was 20 ounces it was bigger than that it was like 24 ounces I drank like eight ounces of it probably if not even that because I just didn't feel good I didn't, haven't been eating good at all the last few days I've just been under the weather you know just feeling rough and tired <laughs> so um Yesterday, all I ate all day was watermelon at different points throughout the day. I ate some in the morning and then I ate some last night. <laughs> I tried to eat some soup, but I didn't. I just wasn't feeling it, you know. But oh well. I told Devin, at least through all this sickness that I'm deal dealing with, uh, I might just lose a little bit of weight and that'll be okay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, so my little neighbor kid running around up there. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I guess I'll hop off here. 
I'm gonna try to make some more videos coming up soon because I miss talking to you guys. I miss having, you know, the communication with all of you guys. So I'm hoping to get some crocheting done so I can show you guys some more stuff and share with you stuff. I want to do some giveaways too because my giveaway box is like overflowing. I want to do a big old giveaway for my 8,000 subscriber mark, but it's kind of taking forever to get there. And um, shipping is so high. I think it'd be easier to do little giveaways instead of one giant one with a lot of weight. But anyways, I'll deal with that when it comes, I guess. <laughs> But I uh, look forward to that one book being a giveaway. Not this one, but the copy that I have. This is actually a really nice book. It's got a lot of really cute patterns in it. And um, it's a nice book. And the other one is also a hardcover that I have. So, that's good. I feel like I want it from... I can't remember who I want it from. It's been a while. Oh, well. <laughs> it's not a big deal. But I forget everything. <laughs> if I don't write it down, I forget it. That's why I always have notes everywhere. But I'm going to help off here and do some cleaning because the house has kind of went to crap since I've been not feeling well. Devin's done a lot, but, you know, he doesn't meticulously clean like I do. So, I'm going to clean up and um, relax probably because I'm tired. <laughs> and I need to get some food because it's it's after 9 or 10. I don't know. 9 something I was driving. It's like 10 something, 11 something maybe. And I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video.